there was no need to get rid of every aspect of a traditional textbook. If there wasn't good research on why something had to change, we shouldn't change it. So one thing I did, for example, is I kept the traditional table of contents. Things generally appear in the same order in my book that they would appear in a traditional book. The terrific thing about the traditional table of contents is it follows the history of human discovery. And it turns out that as we are working our way through understanding physics, we actually follow that same process. We generally start off having sort of an Aristotelian belief in physics and need to go beyond that to work to the present day physics.